let's try to do the ll1 parsing uh, with the help of a grammar the grammar is given s produces opening braces capital s closing bracket and epsilon so first try to find out the first of very symbol so it has only one symbol that is capital s so first of s means first of right hand side so first of right hand side contains opening bracket capital s and closing opening bracket is the terminal symbol so this will be in the first of s and <coughs> epsilon will also be there in the first of s now let us try to find out the follow so follow of a start symbol will certainly contain a dollar and now on the right hand side s also appears so follow of s will be equals to follow of the follow of the symbols following this so closing bracket will also be there in the follow of s so we have found this uh, these symbols now let us draw the ll1 parsing table so for drawing the ll1 parsing table on the row side we write the ter non terminal symbol and on the column side we write the terminal symbols which are opening and closing bracket but we include a dollar also here okay <clears throat> now for filling the entries in the table there are certain rule the first rule says every production which does not contain the epsilon so what are the production which does not contain the epsilon this one you have to find out the first of right hand side so the first of right hand side mean first of right hand side means opening bracket so at the place of opening bracket you will write this production so s produces this is written on the right hand side uh, sorry in the <coughs> in this cell again what what we have said find out the production which does not contain epsilon so s produces opening bracket capital s and closing bracket is the uh, production which does not contain the epsilon so we have to find out the first of right hand side first of right hand side is opening bracket so at the place of opening bracket you are going to write this production okay <clears throat> and then you have to find out the production which contains the epsilon so epsilon s produces epsilon is the production so you will put the this production s produces epsilon in the cells in the table at the place of follow of s so follow of s contains dollar and closing parenthesis so dollar and the closing parenthesis you are going to write this s produces epsilon okay so this way we make the parsing table so this is the ll1 parsing table so this parsing table will be used for doing the parsing for example <clears throat> let us say we have the string opening bracket opening bracket closing bracket and closing bracket and dollar so now let us check if this is this is string is according to the grammatical rules or not or let's take even simpler one opening bracket and closing bracket so after this there will be a dollar so for every string we will take a dollar after that string so in this string we have three symbols opening closing and this one now you are going to take a stack okay you are going to take a stack and this stack contains no symbols initially but the dollar so dollar is the top of the stack initially okay <clears throat> now you are going to put uh, a capital s here okay capital that is the start symbol so after this you will see s and the input string input string symbol input string character so s and opening parenthesis go to s row and opening parenthesis column you are finding s produces this symbol this production so you have to uh, replace this capital s with entire thing written on the right hand side of this production but please make sure that you are writing it in the reverse pattern it means you are replacing this capital s with the right hand side but <clears throat> writing it in the reverse pattern means this s and opening parenthesis you just write it written it in the reverse first this one then this one then this one okay now you see that there is a match of string to stack top character with this character okay so since there is a match so pop this character after popping this character you have s and then you are going to see the next symbol that is capital s uh, the next symbol in the string that is closing bracket 
so since we have a closing bracket <coughs> so s on closing bracket s on closing bracket means s produces epsilon so you're going to replace this s with an epsilon so s when replaced with the epsilon will disappear okay now this character is matched with this one and there is a match so we have a match of this character with this character so we will pop this now on the stack will remain with only dollar and in the string also there is a dollar so it means we have found a match it means the string is acceptable according to the grammar according to the grammatical rules so parsing is successful now let's take this example also this will make us uh, more clear about this uh, parsing ll1 parsing so opening opening closing and closing <coughs> so a string is opening opening closing and closing is the string after this there is a dollar let's take a stack and on the stack let's take a dollar and the start symbol you're going to see s on opening parenthesis so s on opening parenthesis is this production so you will write or you will replace capital s with everything on the right hand side of the production but in the reverse pattern so closing s and opening now there is a match of opening and opening here so you will remove this opening parenthesis or pop this opening parenthesis now going to see the next character so now s on opening parenthesis s on opening parenthesis is this production so you will replace this capital s with the right hand side of this production dollar closing was already there so in the place of s you are writing this so closing capital s and opening now let's see there is a match of opening and opening this opening so you will pop this opening character so wherever there is a match you will remove that symbol from the stack so in, on the stack you remain with these symbols now you are going to <coughs> deal with this symbol the closing parenthesis okay so s on closing parenthesis is s produces epsilon so s produces epsilon means you will replace this s with epsilon and you will remain with uh, or s will disappear from the stack now you're going to have a comparison of a stack top with this symbol there is a match so you will pop this symbol from the stack you move to the next character now there is a match of this character and this character so you will pop pop this symbol also from the stack so on the stack you have dollar and it will move to the next symbol on the string that is also dollar so there is a match of this it means the parsing is successful it means that the given string is according to the grammatical rules